Hello ladies. So this kind of looks like a bit of a jumbled mess at the moment, but let me explain. Um, winter is about to hit here in southern Ontario. Well, about to in that we've been having frost in the last few mornings. So that um, reminds me to kind of winterize my car and pack things up to be able to, you know, make sure just in case we get stuck somewhere, there's everything in there. Up until now, and I think I got this about 20 years ago, I have just relied on my emergency kit to kind of have everything that I need in there. The only problem is now, having taken it out to actually use my jumper cables a few mornings, when, a few weeks ago when um, my car was having problems, I realized just how bad this was actually bad shape this was in and of course now that I'm looking for it I can't find it aha there we go look you can see through it okay great big hole the um, the jumper cables were actually like getting caught in here and there was some stuff in this emergency kit that was a fantastic emergency kit when I got it about 20 years ago that had now all expired and you know even if I had taken it out I wouldn't have been able to use it so that's not very helpful so that's now going in the garbage what I've done now is I actually found this case um, at Dollarama um, and I've now made it very very heavy so I'm hoping that it'll still work um, but basically it is let's see if I can get the whole thing in there it's a rectangular case with three compartments in it and then has kind of these handles on either side. So I just wanted to take you through kind of what I have now put back in this kit um, so that it also won't be rolling around in the back of my car. Because with that emergency kit, it was fantastic, but then I still had um, washer fluid and everything rolling around in the back. So, just to take you through the compartments, I have now folded all of my reusable grocery bags and kind of all the ones that are the like size are in this part here and then there are smaller ones because you always end up needing smaller ones down in this side here. Um, and then these two compartments will hold everything that was in that bag plus some other stuff. So. If we break down, we definitely need a woolen blanket uh, just in case while we're waiting for the tow truck. Um, and of course, we need a shovel. This is a very, very cool shovel that came with that kit. Um, that it actually all has come up, like it's all broken apart, but you can actually screw the, um, the handle together to be able to cre create a full length shovel. So that's a pretty cool feature. I love that. Um, and then my jumper cables with one of these, I don't even know what they're called, um, but these t the, the one tie that came in that bag, um, I just wrapped it around the jumper cables so that um, they were a little bit more contained. These were my lifeline for a little bit. <laughs> um, and then there is a toe rope in here as well that was in that original emergency kit. I have never had to use it. I hope to never have to use it um, because I do actually have a CAA membership. So I'm hoping that I'll never have to use that, but it's in here in case I do need it. So I'm just going to put that stuff back. I probably now won't be able to get it back all nice and tidy. I'll need two hands for that, but yeah, I'll put the, the blanket back in in a minute. So in here, I now have my extra windshield washer fluid and notice that it is actually rated for minus 35 degrees. So in theory, it should be okay um, for the winter because it's usually um, wind chill that takes us down below that. This was also something else that was in that original bag. Um, you can actually fold it into a triangle shape to put kind of behind your car um, on the side of the road if you need to to be able to make you a little bit more visible. Um, 
and then I have um, Fix a Flat. I've never actually used this myself, but I've been in a car where they have used this, and it works well enough to kind of get you say to the next um, garage or gas station or just even to pull off the highway um, so that you're safer. So that's always a good thing. Um, and then what I did, I have to move this to be able to get in. This is actually a Cascade um, container. I love these containers. They're such great quality. Um, and what I've done is I've actually put stuff in here that's kind of all that miscellaneous stuff that we just may at the off chance need. So I've got three ponchos in here. Highly doubtful that we'll need it over the winter, but you never know. Um, these were some of the items that came in that other bag as well. Um, some safety matches. You don't keep a lighter in the car, especially here when it gets to be minus 30. Um, and I have tested a few of the matches. They do still work and I actually put them in two separate mini bags so that I've got the matches in one little bag and then the out outer shell kind of thing that has the part that you spark it off of in another mini bag. Um, I'm not sure why there was electrical tape, but okay. And then this orange here is actually a safety vest that you can wear just in case. So I thought those were some pretty cool items that still needed to be in this kit. And as I mentioned, I think the matches, I tested them and they still do work. Um, I've also got some work gloves in here just in case, you know, if I have to change a tire or something. Um, and then just two cloths that um, were in my kit. I think the green one, this green one, I actually included in my kit originally, or myself. And then this one here was actually in it originally. Um, and then I've got these, as you can see, are McDonald's uh, napkins. But I just have a separate um, bag in here, again, as one of those just-in-case things. And I did have, and I can't see it right now, but somewhere I also put, huh, well, okay, I meant to put, and I'm not sure where it went right this second then, um, but I also put a bag of Band-Aids and gauze and stuff. Oh, wait, it's in the side here for easy access. There we go. So I've got different sizes of Band-Aids, um, some gauze and all that kind of stuff in here as well as a because it seems like I'm always first responder when people get into accidents so um, what I do need to do though is get some more um, medical gloves to be able to help somebody out just in case I don't have CPR I want to take CPR but I just every job that I've had they've done the training after I've left or just before I started so I do want to do that um, and then in this little container here, I also have two days worth of the medication that I take every day. Again, just in case we get stuck somewhere and uh, like one of them I absolutely have to take because it's my blood pressure meds. So welcome to parenting children with special needs. We tend to get high blood pressure. So um, that's what is all in this kit that's just going to go into the back of my car in the trunk or the boot or whatever you want to call it. I call it the boot. People usually laugh at me. So and one more thing that I'm going to do um, to be able to winterize is actually check my spare tire as well. Um, a couple years ago, my dad, oh, excuse me. My dad actually checked um, all of my tires in my car, and then he's like, what about your spare tire? And I went, uh, I don't know. And we pulled it out, and it was actually flat. So that would not have helped us, helped me very much. So um, reminder to all you ladies and gents that uh, when you are getting everything winterized for the car and topping up all the fluids and everything, make sure that you also check your spare tire. There's my PSA for the day. <laughs> anyway, hope this guy, this helps you guys. Bye.